Okay, we're going to get into our lesson for today on uh, diligence slash laziness. Okay, let's pray. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you. Open our eyes, precious Holy Spirit. Open our eyes to see, our ears to hear, and our heart to receive your word. Let the word that go forth may it land on good ground. And may it bring forth fruit to perfection so that we may lack nothing for our destiny. So that we may be perfect in you. Amen. We bind a thief that comes to steal the word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. All right, everyone. God is good. Thank you for joining and watching. Okay, today's lesson on uh, diligence slash laziness. Today's lesson is on accountability, diligent accountability, taking responsibility for one's actions and the outcomes. Hallelujah. And so, the lazy approach is to give excuses for not doing something. <clears throat> the Bible talks about excuses. Excuses, people that give excuses for something they didn't do, that's a sign of laziness. That's a sign of laziness. But those who are accountable, they take responsibility for the things that they don't do. They take responsibility. They don't give excuses. Proverbs 26, 16. Proverbs 26, 16 says, the sluggard, it's another word for laziness, the sluggard is wiser in his own conceit, meaning in his own eyes, then seven men that can render a reason. To render a reason. To give excuse. So one of the signs of laziness is people that give excuses. <laughs> I couldn't do it because something came up. Or I didn't do it because I had to do this. There's always an excuse, an endless excuse. To so get to a point where you say, okay, no more excuses. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Amen. Here we see in the Luke chapter 14. Luke 14, verse 16. Jesus tells this uh, story. Then said he unto him, A certain man had a, made a great supper, and bad many, and sent his servants at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuses. Don't give people give excuses for different reasons. Today we're dealing with laziness. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yokes of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excused. This third one is, I like this third one, it's very funny. <laughs> and another said, I have married a wife. <laughs> and therefore I cannot come. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So that, so that servant came and shewed his Lord these things. And the master of the house being angry said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets 
of the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. Okay, so <laughs> all these all these people gave excuses. Amen. And so uh, our lesson today is on accountability. We need to be accountable. We have to learn not to give excuses when we don't do something. Instead of giving excuses, we say, I'll, I'll do better next time or I'll, I'll do it next time. And just uh, take the responsibility, the accountability. Amen. Now, hallelujah. Also, we see Romans 1, verse 20. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power of Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Amen. We need to be without excuse. If we haven't done something, Let's not have any uh, excuses or anything to blame. Let's just say, you know, it's my fault. I'll take responsibility. I'm going to get it done. Amen. I'm going to get it done. Uh, sometimes Uh, the excuses might might be logical too. It might be a good reason. But nonetheless, we need to do uh, what we are responsible for. Hallelujah. Now, another form of excuse is uh, when we, we blame others. This all started in Genesis. You guys remember the whole incident? Genesis chapter 3, from verse 11. So God, so this is after Adam and Eve had sinned. God comes and uh, so he starts talking to them from verse 11, Genesis 3, 11. And he said, who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, the woman, <laughs> the woman whom thou gavest me to be with, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. The Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me and I did eat. So, Blaming is also another form of uh, laziness. So it's for another form of excuse. You find someone to blame why you didn't do something. So if, if something is not done, you need to be accountable. You need to say, okay, it's my fault. Let me take care of it. I'm the reason. I am the reason. You point at yourself like this. I am. See all your fingers? All your fingers are pointing. I am. Because when, when you point at someone, right, four, or they said three, three is pointing back at you. So if you really want to blame, you say, you, you did it. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. So you got to take responsibility. Amen. You don't say, because you know, excuses can come. There's a whole list of excuses why 
reasons why we haven't done. You know, and sometimes it could be good reasons, but you need to do it. Hallelujah. Praise God, you need to do it. Because we have to number our days. Lord said, so you got to number your days. You know, each and every one of us, we have a purpose, we have a calling. And time is ticking. Time is ticking. Time is ticking and uh, you don't have endless time to fulfill your assignment. You don't have endless time. It's a limited amount of time. So no more excuses. No more reasons. You get a move on it and get it done. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the Lord is your help. The Lord is your help. He's going to help you get it done. You say, Holy Spirit, I love the Holy Spirit. You know, you just, Holy Spirit is there to help you in time of weakness. You say, Holy Spirit, help me to do the things I'm supposed to do. And the Holy Spirit will help you. Hallelujah. He's our helper. Jesus sent him to help us. Amen. So we say, Holy Spirit, help me to do this. Help me to be accountable. Help me to be accountable. Glory to God. Accountable. What does it mean to be accountable? What's the, uh, what's the definition of accountability? Accountable. Hallelujah. Uh, dictionary says of a person, organization, or institution required or expected to justify actions or decisions. Responsible. Amen. To justify actions. So in this case, is is why. You haven't did what you're supposed to do. So you you hold yourself accountable. You say, okay, no more laziness. I need to get it done. I need to get it done. What is it that you need to do? Is it to, to win, win souls? Is it to start that ministry? Is it to write that book? What is it? You're gonna, the excuses are gonna come. No, I have to work, I have to do this, I have to do that. Before you know the time is going, time is going. So get it done, no more excuses. You're not too old, you're not too young. You know, it's, it's not about being smart. The Lord said to Moses, who gave man mouth? saying to us same thing who gave man mouth who gave man brains who gave man skills so all these things come from the Lord so have faith in God take care of business amen Jesus knew what he was supposed to do on earth he said I must be about my father's business at the age of 12 he was already taking care of business so you got to take care of your business. Praise God. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's our lesson for today. Accountability. Uh, being able to take responsibility for your actions. Don't give excuses. Don't, don't blame people things that you haven't done that's a sign of laziness so catch yourself when you start giving excuses you got to catch yourself and say oh no it's my fault <laughs> i'm the reason why it hasn't been done amen okay i want to pray for those that are watching i want to pray for you so god
can heal you. The Lord wants to heal you. It's God's will to heal. It's God's will to heal you. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, be healed in the name of Jesus. If you have any unforgiveness in your heart, go ahead and forgive. Go ahead and forgive because offense and unforgiveness, it hinders. It will hinder you from receiving from God. Go ahead and take a moment and forgive. In the name of Jesus, I command every sickness to leave your body now. In Jesus' name, be free. I remove that sickness from your body. I remove it from your body now in the name of Jesus. The Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord wants someone to, to get rest. Someone, someone is watching, you're not getting enough rest. So the Lord says, your problem is you need rest. You know, there's natural remedies to, to health. It's, it's not always a miracle. Someone's watching and they're not getting enough rest. So the Lord is saying, you need to get some rest. Your body is made to rest. When you don't get enough rest, it's going to make your immune system weak. You're going to, you know, attract all these disease, sickness. So rest. Rest. Amen. Oh, the Lord loves you. Amen. Well, if you haven't already, you just felt face to face appearance from Jesus, written by my spiritual father, David E. Taylor. Everybody get this book. After reading this book, you're going to see Jesus. Don't you want to see Jesus? Oh, man, he's beautiful. Get this book. You're going to be glad you did. It will draw you closer to the Lord. Go to joshuamediaministries.org. joshuamediaministries.org. Get you a copy. Also available on Amazon. And there's different, uh, it's on audio as well and digital. You also need to get this book. Victory Over Pride, A Triumph in Humility. This is a great book. It lists all the different types of pride. You know, every one of us has pride. We, we all have to deal with it. Pride is not good. Pride is the number one sin that in all the glory and the hallelujahs, it can still be in there. 
you got to deal with it. It's bad. And then you need to get also this book, The Heart, Currency of Heaven. This is a great book. Many people don't know about the heart. The Lord is teaching me about the heart. I want to do a, a series. I want to do a lesson on this. It's going to be awesome. It's all by David E. Taylor. And go to joshuamediaministries.org. Get you a copy. You're going to be glad you did. Okay, and I want you guys to come. Come and join our fellowship. Oh, hallelujah. I'm excited to be saved. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I'm having such a great time with the Lord. Amen. You got to meet with God. Early morning prayers is time to meet with the Lord. 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Meet with the Lord. Your walk with God will grow. And you wake up early in the morning. To meet with him. Okay, every Sundays, 3.30 p.m., we are at 14565 Valley View Avenue, Unit A, Santa Fe Springs, California, 90670. I want to see you come and join us. And then Saturdays, we are at Cal UMS, 3 p.m. We have a Bible study there. Address is 1126 North Brookhurst Street, Suite 207, in the city of Anaheim, California, 92801. So come and join us. It's going to be awesome. Amen. Okay, everyone, we are done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is a wonderful series. I'm looking forward to going th through it with you. Amen. Okay, be blessed. Love you. I'll see you next time. Remember, love God and love people. Love God more today than you did yesterday. And love people. And everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. <laughs> and those two things. Just do those two things. Amen. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.